क्लासिकल इंडियन फिलोसफी अद्वैत वेदांता एपिस्टेमोलॉजी लिटरेचर द सेंट्रल टेक्स्ट ऑफ अद्वैत वेदांता ट्रेडिशन आर उपनिषद भगवत गीता एंड ब्रह्मसूत्र दीज थ्री टेक्स्ट कलेक्टिवली आर कॉल्ड प्रस्थान त्रयाय दे आर नंबर वन उपनिषद और द श्रुति प्रस्थान द वेरिक स्क्रिप्चर्स हैव कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टूवर्ड्स द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द वेदांता और द उत्तर मीमांसा Upanishads such as Chandogya and Brihadaranyaka are often quoted in the Vedanta schools. Number 2, the Brahma Sutras or Nyaya Prasthana. It is also known as Yukti Prasthana. It has contributed towards the formation of reason based teachings of Vedanta school. Brahma Sutra deals with the compilation of the teachings of the Upanishads. Number 3, the Bhagavad Gita. It is also known as Smriti Prasthana. it is regarded as smriti or remember tradition which led to the foundation of vedanta advaita vedanta school is an orthodox school of indian philosophy as a result it accepts shruti as a reliable source of knowledge shruti includes the work of four vedas namely rigved samved yajur and atharved it also includes the samhitas the brahmanas the aranyakas and the upanishads the concept of pramanas according to advaita vedanta school of shankara all the six means of knowledge or the sources of knowledge pramanas are accepted they are number 1 pratyaksha or perception according to shankara perception is of two types internal perception and external perception the latter that is external perception arises when there is a contact of an external object with the five external senses the former arises from the perception of the inner sense organ mind for example intuition perception of universals etc he maintains there are four conditions for perception to be possible they are number 1 indriya artha samnikarsha there must be a direct experience of the object with the senses for the correct perception to take place number b or number 2 avyapadyasha meaning perception to be true in nature can never depend on hearsay number 3 avya vichara correct perception does not change it is definite in nature number d vyavsaya samatka means correct perception does not deal with doubt errors etc number 2 anumana or inference anumana or inference means after knowledge this is because anumana literally means cognition a knowledge which follows from some other knowledge anu means after and mana means knowledge therefore anumana deals with knowledge which comes first from some other means of knowledge according to indian logic anumana or inference deals with both deductive and inductive arguments the five propositions of a syllogism are pratijna hetu udharana upanaya nigamana number 3 upamana or comparison it deals with the relation between two things a name and a thing denoted by that name for example a man who has never seen a cow goes to the jungle and sees an animal with four legs long tail and is reminded how his friend once told him that a cow is an animal which has four legs and a long tail so the man recognizes that the animal in the jungle is a cow this is also known as knowledge via resemblance examples analogy and denotation valid knowledge by the means of comparison is called upamiti number 4 arthapatti or postulation it means the knowledge where the necessary supposition of an unperceived fact is made to explain a thing for example when a fat man who does not eat during the day is taken into consideration we suppose that he is fat because he must eat during the night here a supposition that he eats during the night helps us explain the nature of the man who is fat arthapatti is used when a given phenomenon is such that we cannot understand it unless we suppose some fact regarding it to help ourselves understand it hence it is called knowledge via assumption or presumption or supposition number 5 anupalabdhi or non apprehension 
it deals with the immediate knowledge of something non-existent in other words negation or absence of something is known through non apprehension or non perception anupalabdhi pramana it is the only pramana which deals with the knowledge of something absent or non existent or non present abhava for example the teacher is not in the class means the teacher is absent or non existent abhava number 6 shabda or verbal testimony verbal testimony means knowledge that arises from the words of a trustworthy person either spoken or written they are also called aptavakya meaning words from an authentic authority agama which are error free reliable and non false according to advaita vedanta shabda is the most important pramana questions number 1 prasthana trai includes a gita upanishad and vedas b rigved yajurved and samved c upanishads bhagavad gita and brahma sutra d upanishads gita and rigved the correct answer is upanishads bhagavad gita and brahma sutra these three together are called prasthana trai question 2 another name for brahma sutra is a nyaya prasthana b yukti prasthana c both a and b d shruti prasthana the correct answer is c that is nyaya prasthana and yukti prasthana question 3 इंद्रिया अर्थ सन्निकर्ष अव्यपदेश्य अव्यभिचार एंड व्यवसाय आत्मका आर द फोर कंडीशन ऑफ ए परसेप्शन बी इन्फ्रेंस सी वर्बल टेस्टिमनी डी पॉस्टिलेशन द करेक्ट आंसर इज परसेप्शन दीज आर द फोर कंडीशन विच मेक परसेप्शन पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन फोर द फाइव प्रोपोजिशन ऑफ अ सिलोजिजम आर ए हेतु उदाहरण प्रतिज्ञा उपनाया एंड निगामना बी उपनाया हेतु उदाहरणा प्रतिज्ञा एंड निगमना सी प्रतिज्ञा हेतु उपनाया उदाहरणा निगामना डी प्रतिज्ञा हेतु उदाहरणा उपनाया निगामना द करेक्ट आंसर इज द करेक्ट ऑर्डर ऑफ द फाइव प्रोपोजिशन ऑफ अ सिलोजिजम आर प्रोपोजिशन दैट वी वॉन्ट टू प्रूव और प्रतिज्ञा second is reason or hetu third is the example or udharana fourth is the application of the universal relation or upanaya and lastly fifth is the conclusion or nigamana question 5 shruti includes dash works a four vedas samhitas the brahmanas the aranyakas and the upanishads b three vedas samhitas aranyakas and the upanishads C only the four vedas D samhitas the brahmanas the aranyakas and the upanishads the correct answer is four vedas samhitas the brahmanas the aranyakas and the upanishads advaita vedanta school is an orthodox school of indian philosophy as a result it accepts shruti as a reliable source of knowledge shruti includes the work of four vedas namely rig sam yajur and atharva ved It also includes the Samhitas, the Brahmanas, the Aranyakas, and the Upanishads.